I don't know about all of you, but a cookout sounds pretty good to me. And an awesome Mexican salsa would be the best way to start it, especially with the weather warming up. So we're so excited to have our buddy, Chef Martin Lopez with us today. And he is going to teach us how to make a beautiful salsa. Chef, I am so excited that we actually get to be in your kitchen for all of this. That's right, Laura. Mi casa is tu casa. So welcome guys. And oh, I love it. One of the things that this time of the year, um, Basically, for the nature of what I do, I get asked a lot of questions like good recipe or good salsa, right? Well, the reason why I like this specific salsa is because you can use it in a lot of different applications. You can use it for dipping on your table with chips, or you can use it for cooking, like making enchiladas, or using it as an adobo for carne asada when you go out in the grill. So it's going to be fantastic. One of the first things I want to get to really fast, though, is I want to talk about the sun-dried pepper. I know the sun-dried peppers usually are a little foreigner for people in the Midwest, but they're becoming really, really popular. And one of the things I want to mention is the sun-dried peppers do get old. So when you buy them, make sure they're pliable. They're sun-dried. They're going to be crusty and, 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 and hard, kind of like a cardboard. But you want to be able to move them around. And the way you're going to do this, you're going to clean them. Obviously, if you want, you can touch, uh, don't touch your eyes when you're doing this, or you can wear some gloves. And the idea is to take the peppers, the seeds out of the pepper and the veins. And all you're looking for is this little guy. You're going to bring it into a boiling water with your garlic. You're going to soak them up and you're going to let them sit there for about 15, 20 minutes. And everything is going to be on the recipe for you. So just follow step by step. There's four ingredients to this recipe. is cilantro, garlic, salt, and the pepper. And here's the finished broad, uh, finished salsa, Laura. This goes great with any carne asada or tacos of any kind, or simply to eat them with a chip and salsa like this. Now, another cool thing to do is I can buy some meat, I can have my steaks, and get my salsa, and use it as an adobe to soak them and throw them up in the grill. So your tacos, I can guarantee you, they're going to be fantastic. It all sounds so good. I wish it were in my kitchen. But once we get to this step, what's what's next? What else do we have to do? Well, what we got to do, Laura, is basically, you see how the meat is like being soaked in here. You want to soak those like overnight and, and kind of let them rest for a while. Well, then what you're going to do is you're going to get your meat out, bring it out to the grill, just a little bit of spray on your grill and grill away. One of the things I also want to mention is that you can, like I said, you can use this, stuff, this salsa straight up as an application to eating it. Mm -hmm. And out of 1 to 10 scale, this salsa is probably a 4. So don't be afraid to try it thinking mm -hmm. that it's going to be super spicy because we're using all the flesh of the pepper. It's really not that hot. So give it a shot. That's good. It sounds light. It sounds refreshing. Just everything you would want for a cookout in the summer. Exactly. And you know one thing, too, that it freezes well. You can put it in little bags. Mm -hmm. Or another thing you can do is keep it in your refrigerator, and it'll last you a good couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So you're safe there. Make it over the weekend, there. and you'll have it for a couple of weeks. A good idea. Chef always comes up with the best ideas. And if you want to see more of his ideas, you need to check him out on social media because he is always posting on all of his Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages. So all you have to do is search the username, Chef Martin Lopez. Chef Martin, always good to see you. Always good to see you guys.